Hi, I'm Justin Egg from Whitenaps Plant Plants, and we're going to do a quick little video on the tools for pruning. Okay, what you should do for pruning because what we are making, we are making a few sections about pruning, about pruning fruit trees, shade trees, flowering trees, flowering shrub, and evergreens. And you will see that in the next videos. But before you start pruning, what do you need? You need tools. And okay, and the most important thing is you need tools that are clean and sharp. Very important. So there's different, of course, for the hand pruning, there's different types of pruners. There's some pruners with rotating handles, okay, so you don't get too sore, you don't get calluses. There's pruners, you know, for large hands, and then there's pruners for people who have a small hand. So these are more or less the hand tools, uh, what you do for the small pruning and then there's some shears you know some like scissors almost for roses okay and stuff that has a very soft wood uh, so that are the hand pruners okay so that's everything pretty well up to about two inches okay anything over two inches you should use uh, loppers okay and there's lots of different loppers available on the market okay? make sure they're sharp loppers are you know anything what's bigger than two inches you know you cut them off okay so uh, there are the loppers, again, make sure they're sharp. And you will see that in the video, what uh, you will go to watch later. For the evergreens and for the flowering shrubs, we can use, you know, like the hatch shears, we call them. You can also have the, just the manual ones, or you can buy the automatic ones, you know. So when you have a very little to do, this one is very good. What uh, we will see over here at our naps, uh, we see, you see all these green tools what are a really really good price we have lots of them uh, what we did uh, this year is our 40th uh, anniversary and uh, what we have is uh, through the season we have 40% uh, of sales and this is our first sales for the season okay and these are the pruners so you can take advantage of this when you have seen the video you can come into the store and you want you need some pruners from this rack you know you can get 40% off and that's a really good price because they're priced at fifty dollars they're good pruners okay you probably can buy some pruners somewhere else but i want to recommend it because you know some of them you know it depends what price you pay but when you buy something you know a knockoff uh, from uh, from the orient or whatever you know before you know it, you make a couple cuts and you go back to the store and replace it so good pruners 40 percent off excellent deal so what you do is when you prune um, people say you know do i have to use pruning paste I don't recommend pruning paste. Pruning paste was in the old days, 20, 40 years ago. But they find out when you use pruning paste, what can happen, the paste can lift a little bit in the winter, and what happens, an insect or fungus can go behind it, and they, have an, and they create a breeding nest, okay? So the best, when you have to, for cosmetic reason, you can use the, the aerosol, the spray, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Or the best in the market, that's the balsam. This is like a liquid bark. And it's beautiful stuff. It comes from Germany. It's not very cheap, but you know, after a year, two years, when you put this on, you didn't even know where you made the cut. Now, the most important thing is in this town too is lime sulfur and dormidor. When you have done the pruning, don't do it before because there's no sense of spraying a tree, and then you know you're wasting your product and your time, of course. Lime sulfur and dormidor will kill up to 95 to 99 percent of over all your overwintering insects and fungus on your tree when you have three for instance you have moss growing on your mayday tree or your fruit tree you know on the side you spray you know and maybe not in the first year you get rid of it but in the second or third year you get completely ri rid of it it also kills the overwintering insects like the black aphids what can overwinter underneath the bark you know or fungus on your tree it's a um, it's combination spray so you got your sulfur and you got your mineral oil, okay, 100% organic, okay. So when you spray with this stuff, it's a proactive spray. When you spray with this stuff right now, in the next week or two, okay, the trees have to be dormant. It's a dormant spray. That means, you know, all the trees will have leaves on it normally, okay, in the summer, but they go dormant during the winter. That are the trees and shrubs you spray it on. So you don't spray it on rhododendrons, but there's a broadleaf evergreen or you know junipers uh, cedars and stuff like that so it has to be just on the wood of the tree you have to make sure that you walk around the tree that you soak all the wood and do it after you prune 
the weather has to be perfect for it. So you cannot have frost at night. You know, when maybe minus one is okay, but when it goes to minus three or five, you're better off waiting till the next day. Again, it has to be sprayed before the leaves come on. When you do it, when the leaves come on, it's too late because you can burn the leaves. But like I said, 100% organic, very, very important spray, you know, and you will see that, you know, you will probably have a chance that you might not get any insects this year. And when you do, you know, you probably can follow up with something organic, okay? Try to be always proactive. This is a proactive spray. When you have some flies or wasp or whatever, especially in fruit trees, you can hang up the traps, okay? That's a really, really good product too. So we don't want to use chemicals. When we can avoid chemicals, you know, try to avoid it. Uh, insecticidal soaps are good, you know, the traps are good. So always be proactive, okay? So you don't put anything on the tree, what you really don't want on the tree. You don't want to eat chemicals when you don't have to, okay? Chem uh, chemical sprays are only for the last resort. So this is more or less, you know, what you're going to see during our uh, pruning sessions, okay, in the next, uh, when you want watch the TV or not the TV, <laughs> when you watch our website, right? Then you know you will see that we did uh, we are doing a an session on fruit trees, a session on flowering trees, uh, a session on roses, flowering shrubs, and evergreen. Now it's an amateur movie, it's me, okay? So you know you have to listen to my accent, but that's fine. I've been in business 40 years, and I'm still in business, so I cannot be that bad. But you know, definitely you know watch the videos, and we have some. The questions, you know, give us a call anytime, okay? So because we didn't do the pruning clinic this year, and the reason for that is because we always had more than 50 people in, uh, in the session, so we had to cancel it for this year. But hopefully next year we will be back, but maybe you get something out of it when you're just watching this one and the next following ones, you know, following it.